In this video, we will discuss editing profiles. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file editingprofiles.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this Dataset video. There are many tools to edit your design profiles. Let's first go ahead and select our proposed profile, and let's go ahead and click on the Geometry Editor tool. So the tools are categorized. For instance, you have all the PI editing methods right here. So if you needed to add a PI, you would simply click on that tool and then place the PI wherever you want it to be. You also have the ability to, of course, delete PVIs as well and just simply click near the PVI and then it's gone. There are also some additional PI tools. For instance, if you wanted to raise or lower your entire design profile, you could do so right here by simply clicking the tool and raising or lowering it. You also have tools like delete subentity. So if you want to actually delete a subentity within your proposed profile, you can simply select it, it deletes it, and that's it. Now, if you want to undo some of these operations, you can use, of course, the AutoCAD undo command but you also have the undo operation right there in the profile layout tools. You can also make edits in a tabular way, very similar to the horizontal alignment. If you go ahead and select the profile grid view tool right here, you can then see it in the panorama window. You can make changes to the PVI stations, elevations, grade in, grade out, profile curve length, and so on, right in this tabular type way in the panorama window. Lastly, you have grip editing. If you look here, you can pick the different grips here to define the grade in, or the grade out. And of course, you have grips to change the profile curve length by simply clicking here to increase it or decrease it and so on. 